So the first announcement I want to give to you guys is that African Magic actually gave Mercy and Ike's show an extra 10 minutes. 10 whole minutes. Oh my god. Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Glory Elijah and this is Frankly Speaking with Glory. So before I continue on to my analysis of Mercy and Ike's show today, I just want to let you guys know that the Big Brother Niger 2019 Pepper Them Gang reunion show begins tomorrow. So guys, if you love my reviews, then stick to my channel as I bring to you um, all the juicy details of what will be happening on the show. Now, let's go into episode 6 of Mercy and Ike's show what next now today's show on um, this Mercy and Ike's show it was just really really it was funny to me somehow because I noticed a, a truckload of things and I was just asking myself like what the hell is going on now first of all I'm actually excited for them because um, the show usually starts by 6 30 p.m. and finishes by um, 7 p.m. but today I think because of the tons and tons of adverts that the show had um, African Magic Multi Choice, it actually gave the show an extra minutes, an extra 10 minutes airtime, which is actually a good thing and also a good sign. So, in my opinion, I feel like from 10 minutes, they might extend their airtime from 10 to 15 to 20 and possibly one hour. But that's not the main thing of today. Um, today started off with um, Pascal, um, EK's cousin, advising him to have a conversation with Mercy about the whole relax so and Mercy travel to London Wahala you know and um, Ike too was you know burying his heart out and he made a statement that um, the only way he's going to resolve things with Mercy is if she proves to him that she never had sex with really exo you know so he said he was going to have that conversation with her and then um for him he was really excited that he had that conversation with his cousin pascal because um for him according to what he said i've been saying for him for him anyways according to him um pascal has been there for him and pascal is always giving him enlightening information and always opening his mind to see things the way they should be but then the funny thing that happened was um after avoiding Mercy for a long time, okay, not really a long time anyways, let's say possibly since after the last argument they had on the show, I'm not thinking about it in real life because I don't know if the show and what's happening in real life is actually the same thing, you know, so um, he went to see Mercy. He went to Mercy's house and called her. She was complaining that, oh, finally you pick your call. I've been trying to reach you all day. You, you've not been responding. And then she enters the car and um, both of them started having a conversation. And Mercy was actually upset with EK and was bearing out her hearts to him. So Mercy's grievance is that um, during the Willy Exo saga with her, that EK's fan came for her really, really hard. They said a lot, all manner of nasty things against her. I remember last week's show, one of EK's fan, who is possibly an elderly person called Mercy, and was saying all manner of things and was sort of like um, siding with EK, you know? So um, Mercy was really, really upset with EK and was like, if you really, really love me, even if we are not even together you should be able to stand up and fight for me when your fans are coming at me you should be able to call them to order she also even said that um during the really exo saga she called ek and told ek that one of them she put out tweets and posts on um, social media um informing the fans that there is no love lost or like both of them are still on good terms they do not have any issues you know together but ek refused and then ek was being defensive saying that he did not go with her at that point in time because he felt like she was really living in a bubble she was living in a world of her own she was enjoying the attention while he was being hurt you know so that said both of them they sort of settled the matter mercy went to ike's house to cook pepper soup for him and ike was really excited because he likes it when mercy comes over to cook and mercy was saying that oh whenever she cooks for ek you know um it's um, whenever he is upset with her it feels like cooking for him is going to help them resolve their situation and both of them even said that they were going to possibly see a therapist because her mental health is about to break down because of all the trolling and all the wahala on social media but then it made me think and i'm like okay this is the question of the video do you guys actually think that ek is afraid of mercy or do you guys think that ek is afraid of losing mercy or do you guys think 
that Ike is afraid of not being in Mercy's crowd because what I do understand is whenever he is having conversations with his friends and with, with his cousins, he's always very, very vocal about how, how upset and how hurt he is by whatever is going on between him and Mercy, you know, and then he tells them things like, oh, I'm going to ask her about this, I'm going to ask her about that, you know. So when he met up with Mercy, I was expecting him to ask Mercy, did you have sex with Willie Exo in London or not? That was what I was expecting him to ask. But then, on the contrary, they came together and if he was apologizing to Mercy. <laughs> and the funny part again was, after Mercy cooked the pepper soup for him and he tasted it and he was like, oh, it tasted really delicious, it smelled really good. He went on one knee and he was apologizing to Mercy that whatever he had done to her, she should forgive. <laughs> Sorry guys, this is actually really, really funny. But then, that is one thing I don't understand. You know, most of these guys that, hey, maybe they like a girl really much and um, they will be bragging to their friends that ah, when I see this babe, I'll do like this, I'll do like that, I'll say this, I'll say that. And then when they see the girl face to face, they they, they have their balls around their legs that like they can't even do anything. They can't even say anything, you know. So that was basically what happened between Mercy and EK on today's show. And um, I've asked you guys a question of a video, so please go ahead and drop your thoughts in the comment section below. I would love to know what you think. And remember guys, I've always repeated whenever I analyze this show that I do not believe in most reality tv shows because i feel like most of the time it's always scripted you know um so whatever i saw today guys honestly i do not know anyways another thing that i noticed on today's show um and ek said it by himself he said it that mercy is always actually thinking of actually going into a um, real estate business going into the main the main business you know um establish something for herself but Ike, on the other hand, is always trying to look for all these get rich quick ideas. Like, there is no day that they show this Mercy and Ike's show on TV that Ike will not talk about, oh, let's run this thing, let's make this money, let's make this money quick, quick. He's always telling his cousin of how he's thinking about making money quick, quick. And I'm just like, this guy, can you just calm down? I mean, you think it's that easy to just be making sharp, 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 sharp money? Why don't you just chill, you know? establish a business that's going to grow over time and then you can build an empire around it for yourself and mercy if you choose you know he even said it on the show that he is looking for something you know that you know is going to yield money sharp 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 but i don't just get it guys what do you guys think what do you guys think do you guys think that ek is actually really really taking this his money making thing serious you know and another thing that also happened was that he went for tinsel audition at multi choice, <laughs> good. So Ike is like he wants something that's going to bring him quick, quick money. So he wants to go into acting. He has photography. He has this clothing thingy that he's doing. He has his modeling gigs that he's also into. But he wants to go into acting, you know, because he's very, very passionate about acting. And then this was how I was thinking, like this guy. When you were inside Biggie's house, you know, whenever they gave Ike a role to act in one of those their plays. Ike was one of those people that was always laughing. Ike was never serious about acting. Ike was never serious about being serious in, in a play, in a drama play, in Biggie's house. You know, so I'm asking myself like, okay, dude, other people, like let's use Alex Unusual for instance, you know, she went into Big Brother Niger's house in um, 2018 and she realized that she had a passion for acting and she has identified and labeled a lot of other um, Nollywood actors as um, people that she looks up to. So what did she do? She came out of the house. So a lot of people were castigating her for not going back to university um, in Nigeria to complete her studies. But what did she do? She went to New York Film Academy and I think that's where she is at the moment. You know, she's doing a course in acting and whatever, probably directing or any other thing, but she's taking courses on movie making and acting, you know. So when Ike was going on and on about, oh, I want to... Um, go into acting because i believe i'm going to make it big in this acting thingy and all of that you know that was a question i was asking myself like dude why don't you just take some courses you know on acting or i don't know if he has actually done that you put you put that his fans you really really follow their posts on social media that's another question of a video do you guys think that ek is actually ready to go into acting you know because I wasn't really surprised when he did the audition for Tinsel and when they asked him to read a script, 
I was just laughing because <laughs> what he was reading, <laughs> he was smiling. He was smiling whilst he was reading the lines they gave to him. He wasn't even serious about it, you know. And of course, African magic, eh, they will say that eh, he is qualified to be on Tinsel. And of course, he's going to be on Tinsel, you know. So, um, guys it's just funny i know that ek is going to get into teen cells next season and he's going to get in in my opinion though i feel like he's going to get into teen cells next season because his uh, ex bb ninja housemate is now sort of like a celebrity in nigeria and somehow teen cell will also be benefiting if ek makes an appearance on the show you know they're going to get ek's viewers viewing teen cell you know because it's going to sort of give them a lot of traffic that is my opinion that is what i think because currently this mercy and ek show they are getting massive traffic people are watching the show so currently i won't be surprised as i said if um the producers of tinsel gives ek a role on tinsel remember guys tinsel is one of those long-standing um series in nigeria it's been going on for over five years and um somehow it seems like people are losing interest already yeah they've, they've made so many um episodes so many seasons um old actors have come and gone fresh actors have come and gone so the show is just still there so i feel like if they give ek a role in the next season it's going to do a lot of good for the show so that is the only reason i think that ek is going to get a role on teen cell i do not think he's going to get a role on teen cell because he's a very very good actor i do not think ek is a good actor i think he needs to go for lessons on acting and movie making if he chooses but talking about acting i do not think ek is ready to be an actor i do not think ek uh, is a very good actor basically so that is what i think um i also jotted down a number of things that i noticed on the show yeah um i think yeah 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 yeah. okay basically guys that's that's it that's it i've asked you guys two questions on this video i think the first one is do you guys think that ek is actually afraid of losing mercy do you guys think ek is actually afraid of mercy do you guys think that ek is actually afraid of not being in mercy circle anymore what do you guys think drop your thoughts in the comment section below and the second question i asked you guys is do you guys think that ek is ready for acting do you guys think that ek is going to make a very good actor do you guys think that ek is going to get a role on teen cells next season's show because he's actually um qualified to get that role or because um he is um sort of like a celebrity currently you know um so he's going to sort of draw traffic from his current show onto teen cell basically guys those are the questions for um this video go ahead drop your thoughts in the comment sections below and i look forward to seeing your comments guys um that's all for this particular episode of frankly speaking with glory i told you guys already that i'm really impressed um with the fact that african magic gave the show an extra 10 minutes to air that's a very very good sign um possibly we might be getting up to an hour's extra air time very soon that said that is all i have said thank you for watching before i think um i'm gonna see you guys in my next video don't forget to watch my videos tomorrow i'm gonna be posting a video tomorrow morning and also i will be posting another video about the first kick off session of the 2019 pepper them gang reunion show tomorrow um i'll see you guys tomorrow guys <laughs> have a good night <laughs> bye